What's good people, it's your boy Shah back again with another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to another episode of the Umbrella Academy. This one will be season 2, episode 4, The Majestic 12. Last time on the Umbrella Academy, Diego was still healing from his wounds and got real, real close to Lila, who turns out to be the Handler's daughter. Now we don't know what hers or the Handler's plan is at the moment, but I think it's got something to do with Game Revenge on 5. Vanya and 5 have teamed up. Alison's sit-down did not go to plan. And her husband got beaten by police, which forced Alison to then use her powers. None of the episodes have been a disappointment, so I'm excited to jump into this one. Let's go. <laughs> London. <laughs> Was it five that killed her family? Is this Lila's family? I think five killed her family. Home invasion. She's not her real daughter. They were hiding their daughter, why? Oh, so she was training her too? This is intense, what the fuck? She's a child! Sorry if some parts are a bit quiet guys, I keep getting copyright claims because of the music. Um, how much did he tell you? I'll oh, get some bonding time with these guys. Yeah. That you killed? You caused it. What caused the apocalypse? Just tell her. You've been down this road before. Eden. Yeah. Don't lie to her anymore. No, I was part of it. How? Uh, you got angry. Lost control and you blew up the moon. Nothing good ever comes from it. Have you ever heard the fable of the scorpion and the frog? <laughs> Close is so... Oh, we just love him. We love Klaus. The frog feels this terrible pain on his back and... He killed them both. The scorpion stung him. And the frog's like, well, what the hell? We're both gonna drown now. And they both did. That's not how the end of the story goes. What the hell is the point of that story? The point is, frogs are bitches and we do not agree with their friends. <laughs> what? Klaus! That's what right there. Mm. It's about a quarter of hours, damn it. I didn't count the measure. That's because it won't be identified 11 so far. Who is the 12? They've only identified 11! I know. Uh, yeah, sure. From the hardware store. No, from before. Well, after. Listen. He's not doing very well! He didn't listen very well. And you have 8,000 American soldiers and a million Vietnamese all die for nothing because the hey. dominoes aren't going to topple, baby. The communists aren't going to invade all of East Asia. Says so, you. Right. Why? You know this clown? Um, he bought pink paint at the store. Pink paint. Pink. <laughs> How about you get out of my seat? Oh, wow. wow this is probably what makes him enlist. It's a paradox. Hit him. Damn it. What? Hit him. I love him. Hit the queer. And I know. Hit him. What's actually happening? Oh. Why is Klaus telling him he loves him? This is messed up. Klaus, you know you went about this the wrong way. 
But yeah, he shouldn't have hit him. Nice fire. He looks evil. Look at him, he's like a little gremlin. <laughs> Everyone's meeting up. Nice. She needs him right now. They're the only two people that matter. Why are you like a hunchback? He was alone. Is this who the mum was made after? Is this a real person? Does it look like her? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Don't say that, weirdo. Never heard that one before. Anything more about her? Nothing really. Not so fallen. Mm. Yeah, she's real. If this is your idea of a come on, it's not going well. No, you know where he is. He said something about a quick meeting and he'd be right back. That was 20 minutes ago. Never get to keep a lady waiting. Tell him that if you find him. Hey, uh, Grace. It was nice meeting you. You too. Oh, her name is Grace too. Wow, she must have meant a lot to Reginald. Did he drop? She doesn't know how to use her power. How is she even safe from using her power? If I tell her how to use her power, I guess he would have. I bet he's not even in there. Wow, shockwaves. That's cool as fuck. Get him. Wow, she's keeping that bait. What the fuck? His mom's gonna see this, right? That is so cool. She's OP as fuck! Oh shit, is he gonna die? Wait, what was that? Just went in him from her. She's not even wet. Well done, five. I don't know how he jumped into a closet that he didn't know was there. I've confirmed the motorcade will indeed be turning left on Elm Street. We'll have our people in play. Gentlemen, this time of yours seems ill timed. Going to be a privilege. Reginald. Shh. How do you know? Shit. Nice. Let's go! You don't have the strength to snap his neck. Actually, I've seen him do it before. Let's try this again. 
Don't pull too much. Oh, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, shit. Why is there music playing over all the great scenes? What's he saying? What did he say? He's on to them now. Woo! Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really, really enjoying the character interactions this season. They feel like a more cohesive family. Last season, there was a lot of times where you were just frustrated and just want to shake each one of them because they're just making so many stupid decisions. They weren't communicating, they weren't working as a unit. But that's also how dysfunctional families can be. But I am enjoying the, the, the more unified presence that we're seeing this season. It's lovely to see. So we found out that Reginald Hargreaves is part of the Majestic 12. I can't believe one of those Swedes were beating up a child. Like Once he couldn't teleport, Five was definitely in real danger being in that child's body. So I'm glad that nothing too bad happened to him. Lila may have blown her cover in saving five instead of Diego. So I wonder what that's gonna to do to their relationship. I understand Raymond being upset with Alison, but I just didn't think it would be for the reason that he's upset with her. He thinks she's some kind of, I don't know, like a plant, or she's working with the police or something because she's got two white brothers and she was speaking to the policeman who let her, him go, even though he was gonna beat him to death. So I can see why he would think that she's someone that was sent there to spy on them or something like that. But the, I don't think he even told that to everybody else in the salon. So I don't know what they're angry about. That needs to be clarified because that one dude in the back said that she had the nerve to show her face there. Like she wasn't being tortured and abused the same way they were. It was, it was just a bit strange. Anyway, the story is picking up quickly. The pacing is actually really good this season. I'm glad that they, they, they made a little bit of a change from the first season where things were a bit slower. We're getting a lot of character development. The pacing is very good. The action is very good. The story's unfolding in a smooth and clear way. There's not really any bad things I can say about the season so far. That was my reaction to The Umbrella Academy Season 2, Episode 4. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode and my reaction down in the comment section below. Smash the like button as usual. It really does help on my channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Taylor about the fucking flex.